here. Hi, Graciela, how are you? Hi, but I'm really tired, but oh, fine. Oh my goodness, and okay. You? <laughs> Me too, I'm tired, but uh, we're here. We're going to have fun today. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I am fine, and you? Excellent. Thank you for asking. How was your day? Excuse me? How was your day? So, so, more or less, okay, fine, boring. Good, good. good. Excellent. Very good. And yeah. Mr. Thermenio. Nice to see you. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Mr. Thermenio, how are you? Good evening, you? teacher. Good evening, sir. How are you? Good. How was work? Excellent. It was excellent. It was good. What do you do for a living, you said? Is it, uh, sorry, I can what hear you, you. What do you do for a living? What do you do? What do I do for a living? What do you do for a living? Yes. For a living? Ah, I am uh, audit. I, I audit. Audit is like an accountant. Audit. Yes. Unlike an accountant. No. No. No, okay. I, I, my area is in a uh, system. The on system. IT. Oh, okay. On IT. System. Oh, IT. IT. IT support, something like that. Yes. I, I have two jobs the support oh. and the audit. Oh, the audit the software okay. of the companies. Oh, okay. I audit the software of the companies. Audit. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And, uh, Thank you, uh, Semenya. And Chrissy Melara, what do you do? Uh, you, you go to school, right? To the, the university? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Uh, yes, I study. Okay, very good. You're the, a hard, uh, um, you study too hard. Okay, very good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing, Miguel? How are you today? I'm fine. Excellent. Well, nice to see you. Nice to see you um, all. Uh, nice we're gonna you start, well, we're going to start our class today. But before we start our class, um, I want to see if we can remember what, what was the last thing we do last night before we, we finish the class. Somebody can re remember? Short answer. Short answer, okay. yes. Short answers, very good. Uh huh. And those short answers was uh, using what uh, verb, uh, Graciela? With the verb to be, um, if the... we use I'm, mm -hmm. I am. If we use she, he, or it, we use it. Okay. If we use we, we or they or uh -huh. you. Okay. We use are. Okay, very good. Okay, so with the verb to be, we we're, were working on the WH question uh, with the verb to be. And what was uh, what were those WH questions, uh, um, Sara? Sara Martinez. Hi, Laura. Hi. Good evening. Hey, Sara, your uh, your speaker is off. Your microphone? Yeah, turn on the microphone. Oh, there we go. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And um, okay, Sarah. And uh, what are what were those uh, WH questions that we went over here last night? Sarah. Eh, la, la, la presentación que usted nos mandó. Um, the, last night we went over a WH questions. Um, what were those words, uh, Brenda Cruz? Hi, how are you, Brenda? Hi, Hi teacher. Hi. Can you help uh, um, uh, Sara about the WH questions? Which one? What? Which one? Yes, what? With one of them? Yes. Where? Where? Why? Why? When? When? Which? Which? How? How? There we go. Okay. And we said last night that the what is used for things, right? Where is used uh, to ask about places. When is used to ask about time or date. 
Why is looking for a uh, um, reason. reason of something that have something happened? And which, which we use, good evening, we use which for Jenny? Try options. Options. Very good. Options. Very good. Which is used for options. Okay. Today we're going to be looking at. Um, at present simple WH questions, which is are those are different than the verb to be, but I will try to make the difference very clearly so you will not uh, get confused between them, between the verb to be WH question, who is my friend, and um, the present simple the WH question, what, why do you want me to go with you? Yes, why do you? where we use the uh, auxiliary verb, auxiliary verb, which is does and do. We're gonna use it today. But before that, uh, welcome to all of you. Curry, I'm glad to see you. Jenny, I'm glad to see you. Patricia, Hi. glad to see you. Brenda, Chrysia, Miguel, uh, Laura Raquel, and uh, Sarah, Jelly Sanchez, Sister Sermenio, and Graciela. I'm glad to see you guys. And thank you for being on time. Okay, before that, uh, we have uh, two more games from uh, section one that we have to finish. Remember that uh, the reason why we play those games is to make sure that uh, we reinforce the information. Because if we don't do that, then how do we measure or how do you measure yourself how much understanding you have on the subject? That's the, the way I, I think it works. It works a lot uh, good for you guys. So let's uh, continue with the um, uh, Kahoot. Are you guys ready? We have two more Kahoots. Remember, we have the the uh, um, um, we we have the uh, um, what were the topics? The WH question we did yesterday. What are the other two topics that we need to cover? Po, 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 po. Okay. Possessive. Yes? Somebody can say that? Possessive. Pronouns. Pronouns. Possessive pronouns. Yes. Uh, my, mine, <coughs> your, yours, his, hers, his, uh, his, uh, it, it's, uh, we, our, ours, they, theirs. Okay? Then what was, what was the other topic? One more topic, one, one more topic that we have to go over. Anybody? Miguel? Miguel, what was the other topic? No? Celso, Sermeño, what was the other topic? We have three topics that we went over. Laura, mm -hmm. Laura? No? Good question, possessive pronouns. Uh, and also we were the, on, on. Uh, oh, when 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 we have a, a we have a question and, and change the position of the for example, are are you in the house and you are in the house? So we view we we saw the the, the, the position of the the statements. Mm -hmm. The statements and the questions, right? When, whenever we transform mm -hmm. a statement into a question. Um, you are my friend. How can I change that to a question, Termeño? You are my friend. That are is a statement. Are you my friend? Are you my friend? Yes. yes. Are, are, you my are, friend? You, are you my friend? Yes. We are happy. Change that to a question, uh, Corey. We are happy. Yes, we are. No, we are happy. Brenda, um, change that into. Are we happy? Are we happy? Yes. Sir. <laughs> I'm yes. sorry. Pay attention. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, let's see. Let's continue with uh, 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 Kahoot. Let's see if we can. Uh, uh, just a second. I think we're going to have. Uh, let's see. Where's Kahoot? I was preparing my own 
other cell phone. Oh, okay, okay. Get ready then. Uh, yeah. Kahoot.com. Okay, let's see if we can get uh, into Kahoot. And um, I want to show you how to restart this one. We're going to log in. Once we log in, then we're ready to play Kahoot. So I'm going to show you the two uh, the two Kahoots that we're going to be playing tonight. And after that, we're going to be uh, talking about the uh, uh, qu WH question using the present simple. And what is the present simple, the tips of Fermeño? What do you understand for a present simple? Present simple is all the things that we are doing in the moment or right now. Okay, so that might be a, um, yes, but it's something that is is uh, is happening yes right now. Yes, that's okay. And the structure of the present simple whenever we have a, a WH question is that uh, you do the do or does. Okay, so we have the possessive adjectives, and yesterday we did the WH question. Today we're going to do the possessive adjective and the verb to be. Okay, we're going to start with the possessive adjective. And uh, let's see. Remember that the possessive adjectives are the his, her, our, their, mine, my, your, yours. Okay, so the, the uh, address is kahoot, www.kahoot.it and the pin is 204-7454. Thank you, thank you. Are we all in? Is anybody left? Me, hey, teacher, I can get into. It's connecting to Kahoot, but I can get into. Okay, so we're waiting for Graciela, right? Yes. Okay, take your time. This appear in myself. Sure. Connecting. Oh, okay. It's, it's your um, internet connection. Okay. One more second. Nothing. No, what happened? But I can get into. www. That Kahoot. That it. Graciela, there we go. Okay, okay, let's start. Possessive adjective. Okay. What is the adjective for she? Very good, excellent. My God, that's Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's, if it's a problem very good okay question number two mm, I have a problem because 
Well, I don't, uh, in my in my page is just appeared uh, an error. I don't an, know why. An error? Yes, I don't know why because I am in enter, but I don't know why. Always is just time is up and it's the water error, but I don't know why. And uh, who am I talking to? Uh, Laura. Laura, okay, let's see, Laura. Oh, um, I'm entering uh, again. Laura, okay. So you using you are using uh, the phone and the computer, right? Yes. No, just the computer. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just the computer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you have a phone? Uh, yes, but is for me is more easy from no. the computer. <laughs> the phone is just for for you to look at the at the colors and select the colors, and the computer is to see the question. Lower. Uh, let me see. You have One, to use both. Six. You have to use a phone and the computer. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to. No, but 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 yesterday, um, I'm using like this, but I don't know what happened. No, I can't. And I try to buy the cell phone, but I don't know why. It's not working. Okay. Let me know whenever you're ready. Laura. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay, let's see what um what is the problem in this uh, question? Uh, um, let's see, Cermeño uh, or Tirso. What is the problem? The problem. Uh, there is a problem. My father works in a factory, but uh, I don't understand what is the problem. Okay, Miguel, Lara. You use their. Okay, their their father. <laughs> Anybody, anybody can anybody tell me if there is something wrong in this uh, in this uh, Brenda uh, the problem is uh, the 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 pronoun the pronoun uh, because it's uh, confused is because talking about the father. Mm -hmm. And the the uh, the object is they. Okay. Uh huh. So so the pronoun is they. Yes. And, uh, and the verb is uh, is in third person for he. Yes. So in this case, I made a mistake, but I didn't I didn't know that what mistake was there. But looking at this uh, at this uh, uh, sentences, at uh, this sentence, it looks there there is a, a verb agreement problem. Verb agreement is when uh, if we're talking about the he, we're gonna say he is. We cannot say he are. In this case, we're talking about they is plural, but this one is singular. This is about one person. He. His part uh, works in a factory, his father. So over here is uh, teacher, they... it... mm -hmm. teacher, it could be the, because I, they are talking about they, maybe two person, uh, están hablando quizás de dos hermanos que su padre trabaja en una fábrica. Sí, pero si decimos but... sus, de ellos, sus. El padre de ellos dos. Sus padre, no podemos decir sus padres. Sus padres, ok. Sí, me entiendes. The sentence is wrong. Yes, there we go. No podemos decir sus padres. Sus padres trabaja en una uh, uh, 
factory. No podemos decir así. Aquí tiene que ser he. Este es he. His Or father she. works. No, porque... His father, father no. o... His father no es she. Es o she. her father. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Sí, ajá. Si esta fuera she, father. aquí. Entonces, dijera, her father works in a factory. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Podemos usar he o she, mm -hmm. pero no they. Entonces, no they, este, okay. hay un problema de uh, verb agreement, se llama ese problema. Este error es verb agreement. They no va con works, porque there no va con works. Esto tendría que tener, o le quitamos la S ahí, uh -huh. o le ponemos aquí he or she. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. Entonces, um, para los que con, contestaron esta pregunta así, eh, no, no, no tendría que haber una, una respuesta a esto, porque no se puede. Okay? Si lo entendemos, they no está con works, no va. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't match. Ok. So, Okay. We're gonna skip that one. Entonces todos salieron, todos salieron en error o, o no, hubo una no, respuesta correcta. Salieron no. en error porque esa estaba mala, no tendrían que haberla contestado. Oh, okay. no. no teníamos que seleccionar. No tenían que haber seleccionado si la, si la, si la oración se hubiera, la hubieran entendido. Mire, teacher, esta no se puede contestar porque está en they y aquí está en, en works, que está hablando de he or she, no, no. la tercera persona. Ok. Ok. okay. Let's go to the next one. Very good. Entonces, en este caso tenemos this is he. ¿Cuál es el, el possessive pronoun del he? Is. His. 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 His, no it's. It's, no, porque it's lo usamos para cosas y cuando estamos hablando de it. Entonces, como estamos hablando de he, it's his. This is his cell phone. Ya, yeah, y la, la, la blue one era que him. Him, este no, no es un, un possessive pronoun. Este es un object pronoun. Object. Object pronoun, lo vamos a ver después. Un object pronoun es el que recibe la acción. Entonces, cuando, are you talking about him? A him recibe la acción. Are you talking about him? Oh, did you see him? Did you see him? Entonces, estamos hablando con otra persona, pero el him mm -hmm. está uh, recibiendo la acción. Did you see him? Yeah. Do you love him? Yes. Ahí sí, pero en este caso, este es un... Object pronoun, no es un subject pronoun. Subject pronouns son her, your, his, uh, our, their, its, y el mine. Ok, very good, excellent. Vamos a seguir. Good job, Graciela, se fue para abajo. Ok, vamos a ver. Sí, me equivoqué a la hora de marcar, fue error de él. Oh, ok. <laughs> Very good, yes. We, el subject pronoun, is, el possessive pronoun is our. Very good, excellent. No tenemos ningún problema ahí. Very good, Tirso. Good job. Okay, vamos a ver con la otra. De I. Boyfriend is a good looking boy. Very good. I, siempre tenemos el my. My boyfriend is a good looking guy. Boy. Very good. Excellent. ¿Quedó todo igual? Sí. Ok. Question number six. You. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ok. El you, el único pro... Uh, Uh, possessive pronoun is a your. Your. El, este es their. Their se usa para they. Si esto hubiera sido they, entonces sí usamos el their. Y el esta es. Um, de que ver. Entonces, esta. Usamos el her. Her. 
her se usa para she. Entonces, si aquí hubiera dicho she, entonces podemos usar her. Her mother is pregnant. Pero como está el you, es la segunda persona. Your mother is pregnant. Ok. Entonces, second person. Graciela. Ok. Very good. Entonces, la 7 out of 10. Hawaii is beautiful. Teacher, yo me salí. Teacher, no, no me da la no me da los. A mí me sacó. Sin querer me, me. No me da los colores. Me sacó esta cosa. ¿Quién, ¿A quién nos sacó? Vuelvo a entrar con el pin. Teacher, no me dio los colores a mí. ¿A, a quién es? Graciela. Graciela. No, me de... no me dio los colores. ¿En tu teléfono? Sí, here, look. Se quedó en la, en la pregunta anterior. Mm, pero ese es el problema del, del, del internet. El internet. Sí, tiene A mí me dice, sorry, that, that night me... ¿Hm? Sí, me ah, ese, ese es el, el time. Le está, se tardó mucho en contestar la pregunta. Time. Eso es el Entonces, esta es el it. It va con el it. Es el único pronoun. It. El our, no puede, el our nunca va con el it. El our va con el we. El pronoun we. Ok. Very good. Brenda, it's coming up. Ok. Very good. Aunque salieron ahí, um, está hablando de friendship. Entonces, our friendship, ¿verdad? Está hablando de friendship. Our friendship is the best. Very good. Eh, ok, vamos a ver. Xiomara, first place. Very good. Your name. What is your name? What is your name? It was excellent. Okay. Next. Last one. This is. Very good. There. Acuérdese que they va siempre con there. Y el her va con she. Entonces her no podía ser tampoco our porque va con el we y el your va con el you. Y como aquí tenemos they, la única respuesta es there. Ok. Tengamos cuidado con eso. Cada pronombre va con su uh... Cierto. Congratulations. Hey, congratulations. Hey, Very good. Hey, aquí en la first place. Very good. Oh. Okay. Vamos a ver. Let's see who is um, 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 difficult question number one. I, I remember it's my boyfriend. It's a good looking boy. Esta, vamos a ver, let's show the answer. Contestaron his. His. Our, your and her. Siempre que usamos el I, recuerde, el I siempre va con el my. I con el my, nunca va con el his o con el your o her. Very good. Excellent. Well, I think we're doing fine. We're doing excellent, I guess. Um, now let's, let's try with uh, the other Kahoot that is with the verb to be. With this one, remember the verb to be is are. You and is. Are and is and am. Is on, that, those are the three presentations of the verb to be that we're going to go over on this Kahoot. Make sure that you understand that I am, you are, we are, they are, and you are the uh, uh, plural. And he is, 
she is and it is third person so if we want to make those questions we're gonna say am i are you is she is he is it is it are we are you and are they okay eso es lo que vamos a practicar ahorita ready everybody's ready ¿Todos están listos? Sí, yes. yes, teacher. Teacher, el camping es the same. No, no, it's going to be different one. Yes. Okay. okay. Ahorita va a salir el pin, el nombre, oh. la dirección siempre es la misma, es el Kahoot et, pero el pin es diferente porque es diferente. <coughs> al, al game. Okay, let's see. Loading the game pin. Almost there, almost. Sorry for the delay. Okay, just one more second. Remember, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, uh, you are, plural, they are, and I am. So we switch the verb, and then we can make a question. Okay, so the, uh, the ping, it is five five zero two five three one. Thank you, Marcela. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Melara. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Samara. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Mimi. Thank you, Chrisia. Thank you, Patty. Okay, I think we all of all of us are there, right? Okay. Yes. Let's start. The verb to be questioned. Okay, the first one. Remember questions. Oh. Very good. Am I late for class, teacher? So whenever you're late for class, that is the question that you need to ask your teacher. Am I late for class, teacher? He's going to say, no, you're not. Teacher, you're... Oh. Yes? Ah. Era inicial mayúscula. Ya puse la minúscula también. Y le dio incorrecta. No, 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 eso fue una trampa. Ok. A question. No, no. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Whenever... At the beginning of the sentence, the must be yeah. the letter mayuscula. Yeah. Okay, you never, yeah. start, you never start a question with a, okay. a, a lowercase. Okay, very good. Okay. So number one is uh, um, I'm. The other one's am. Um. Everybody answered ten am. The so lowercase. No, no, no. no. Yes. And okay. Number two is, okay, very good. Excellent. Let's see who is the. If, oh, my tío Mar is the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Evidente, oh. ¿quién la contestó? <laughs> okay, vamos a ver, next one. So, be careful because there are other ones that are always the same thing. Okay. My gosh. Oh, my goodness. Is she from Ciudad del Gado? Yes. Who is from Ciudad del Gado? Uh, Tircio. Uh, I don't remember who is from Ciudad Delgado. Oh, my God. I think it's Jenny. <laughs> Jenny. Jenny. Ah, Jenny. Jenny. Jenny ah. and you, teacher. <laughs> Jenny and you. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Jenny. Says, uh, she is from Ciudad Delgado. So Jenny is from Ciudad Delgado. So, so the question is, is she from Ciudad Delgado? Yes, she is. Right. Okay. And who answer are, are she from Ciudad Delgado? Remember, are always go always goes with uh, um, are okay. you are we are you plural are and are they okay never with she okay very good excellent next one oh very good okay let's see Mm -hmm. 
Very good. Where are the two brothers? Are because it's they, right? They brother, their brothers. So it never is. Is always goes with uh, she is, he is, and it is. So is she, is he, and is it. Okay, very good, excellent. Let's go. Oh my goodness, Lara came up all the way from down. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Very good, excellent. Okay, now let's see. I thought you were going to say what are. Why? Why is not R, uh, Tirso? Uh, because it's a question about the person. Because no. he's talking, uh, the question, no. No, 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 we're talking about the verb. I use, I use, I use is because, ah, it, because we are talking about a sport. Sport. Oh, there, we go. there we go. The Who said singular? The Who said singular? Me. Who's me? It's singular. Uh, Graciela, it's singular. Uh, yes. But I roam. Yes, because it's singular. See, uh, uh, Cermeño. If this one has it's sports, singular. then it would, it would say, what are your favorite sports with S? But since it is without S, so it's singular, so it says, what is your favorite sport? Okay. So that was the, the, the answer that I was looking for. Mm -hmm. And it's never, what is the five of you are, are. So that's, that's, um, that's uh, is, is a verb agreement. Remember, verb agreement is when you talk about singular and you use plural. Plural against singular. So if you use a singular verb, must be singular object. Plural verb, plural object. So. Verb agreement, remember that word, verb agreement. We have to work on that. Okay. Yes, Lee, very good. Good job. Let's see. Tiamara doesn't want to leave the first place. Okay, very good, very good. So we have uh, five people that uh, uh, did it right. One of you who make this, uh, who did the right choice, tell me what did you see on these sentences? Why did you use are and you did not use is? I use are because he's talking about shops. Very good. Plural. It's the same thing that the, the, the question before. See, if I have over here shop, it's one. So it would be, is the shop open now? But since it's shops, are the shops open now? Yes? No. So be careful on this one. Make sure that is the verb agreement. Remember, singular verb, singular object. Plural verb, plural object. So I cannot say the apples is red i can't so because i'm talking about apples that have to be the apples are red i can't say the apples is red because apples sing plural is singular okay remember that okay let's see marcella very good good job okay very good excellent okay so this is uh, my in the right classroom remember I it's always going to be with am um, am I Am I in the right or in the, in the right classroom? This it has nothing to do with the verb to be. So remember, is 
are and am. Those are only be the choices. This was not a choice. So, am I in the right classroom? Was the right class? Very good. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Good job. No, <laughs> who says no? <laughs> okay, why is not uh, um, um, R, Corey? Uh, because the child is child he. is a singular. So the child is gonna a use singular. Is yes. your child at school today? If we use, if we put over here children, then are your children are your children at school today? Oh, yes, school. yes. But since okay. it's a child, a child is one, so we use is your child at school today. Oh, very good, good excellent. Good job, good job, uh, Corey. Very good, thank you. Okay, let's see. Be careful on this one. Be careful. Teacher, no me dio otra vez el INTA. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, now remember that a singular goes with a singular, and this was kind of a tricky question. Well, it's not a tricky question, but uh, it's very easy to get confused because if you put uh, over here, is Patty. Yeah, it sounds good. It sounds great. It sounds excellent. But then we have the connection word <coughs> here and Xiomara. So that yeah. makes a difference. So Patty and Xiomara are plural, more than one person. So we have to use are Patty and Xiomara late again. If we use is Patty and Xiomara, we are the, uh, making a mistake over here of a verb. Okay. So good job, good job, good job. Very good, excellent, let's see. Nine out of 10, we're almost there. Okay, let's see, is... Why is not is curry? Because they is the second person. Because they or is a third person plural. Third person. Third sorry. person plural. plural. So uh, they is plural and is is singular. We always use it, it with uh, he, she, and it. Okay, and it is, um, is. Yes. Okay, very good, excellent. I'm sorry. Thank you, uh, Corey. Okay, Marcella, oh, my goodness, Marcella. Okay, okay, cool. since we're talking about uh, plural over here, then it mm -hmm. has to be Yesley and, and oh, Aveline. Aveline. Yes? Aveline. So remember, plural are two, more than one. So Yesley and Aveline are Yesley and Aveline cousins or just friends? Yeah, so three is Antonio. Are Antonio cousins or your friend? It doesn't go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. With himself. Yeah, there we go. But I can't give you a point because you choose me. <laughs> okay, let's see. 
Let's see how do we do. Mimi! Yay! Yay! <laughs> yeah. Let's see who. Marcela. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh my goodness. Very good. Congratulations. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay. Girl no. power. Yeah. <laughs> Difficult question number one again. And I am late for class. Uh, we have. Uh, Okay. Um, uh, okay, yeah, this was the one that you guys said that was a tricky question, right? But uh, no, it was not my intention to make it a tricky, a tricky question. Okay, very good. Excellent. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to stop uh, uh, sharing the screen and I'm going to go back to our class. And uh, tell me, what do you think? How do you feel after the, these two games that we played um, how do you feel about uh, you making the right and wrong, wrong answers or, or options or cho uh, choosing the correct or the wrong answer? What was the difficult part that uh, make you not uh, uh, be confident uh, in making those uh, uh, choices? Uh, for this game, I, I think that this very... Very, very good. I, I like it because uh, it's it's prepare us to to think very faster. Yes, very faster. The, what so I it, yes. Uh -huh. Go yes. ahead. Tell me. Go ahead. No, go ahead, please. Uh, it's to to everybody think faster, and for me, it's very important that. Yes. What I'm trying to do is to to make your brain. Yeah, uh, I'm placing your brain in a in in a situation, just like if you were talking to somebody that you don't have time to translate in your head. So there is no time for you to oh oh my goodness okay this this, this means that she is is Aya and he is N. You have no time. <laughs> Twenty, 20 seconds is it's not time. And and believe me, at the end of this course, you're gonna be you're gonna be thinking faster now. Because you will be thinking in English, not in Spanish. Because none of you were translating the sentences. None of you. I, I know that you guys didn't, didn't have the time to translate. And if you did translate it, then you were not able to answer the question. So, very good. You're learning an, an ability that it, it's very difficult to, to, to get the hang of it. So congratulations to you guys, and don't 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 feel bad if you make a bad mistake, if you if you make a bad choice. Don't worry, you know. If you don't make mistake, you will never learn. Making mistake is the way to learn. That is the only way that you're gonna be learning. So if you talk in English, you're gonna learn to talk in English, even though if you make mistake at the beginning, but at the end you will earn a lot of credit for yourself because it's you and only you who is talking. So congratulations. I'm very proud of you guys. Um, I'm glad that to, to be part of your learning process. So, and thank you for letting me part, be part of your learning process. And, and thank you for being so responsible. All of you, all of you, you guys are great. So, um, very good, uh, Sermeño. Any other the person, any other the participant uh, has uh, any 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 suggestion or or feel that, that this is helping you at all? Brenda, you say, hey, me, me, me. Hmm. Uh, sometimes it's difficult things uh, translate the the sentences or the or the answer of our question mm -hmm. uh, for the instruction. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, in the in this game is very very uh, fast. It mm -hmm. choice the 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 answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And and the way you you find out is that when you see this course. Oh my God! I did answer the, I did answer it right. But what happened is that you were not fast enough to submit your answer. And that 
is what's going to help you because you're going to get the hang of it and then you're going to say, oh my God, I have to answer faster than uh, Xiomara. Xiomara is too, too fast. Uh, Miguel, I don't know. Miguel, what's happening? Are you working with us or? Uh, I think you have to practice more than uh, of bear, conjugation of bear. Mm -hmm. um, and is R. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, very good, excellent. Well, but congratulations, congratulations to all of you. Okay, now what we're going to be learning is about the simple present and um, WH questions. Let's see, I'm going to uh, share the screen again and uh, we're going to go over this uh, PowerPoint presentation that I sent to you guys. If you had the chance to see it, uh, very good. If not, I know you guys are busy and you have a busy life. So. It's okay, WH question using the present tense. So in the WH question, we're gonna be using do or does. Remember, present tense uses do or does. Verb to be uses are, is, or am. That is the difference between a WH question with using the verb to be and WH question with the present tense. WH question with the verb to be uses is, are, and am. WH question with present tense uses do or does. Do is for I, you, we, and they. Il does is, is for is, his, for his, he, she, and it. Does. That's the only time we're going to be use, using does. Whenever we uh, I structure the question, does uh does brenda like uh, like soccer does curry uh, run every day does uh Termenio walk uh, on the street so that is the what we're going to be looking at today and um again i think last time um, yesterday we were talking about this but i want to refresh your mind that who is used to ask about a person remember whenever we use who is because we want to ask about a person. Where we ask, we used to ask about a place. And why is used to ask about a reason. Also, what is used to ask about information. What kind of information, Termena? Information. What? Uh, in what? Yes, in what? Uh, information about everything a to thing. ask a, a thing a thing a thing right a thing. Oh, okay a thing. yes uh -huh. so and and when is used to ask about time whenever we want to know about uh, when is your birthday brenda Cruz? my birthday is july 3rd july 3rd okay and when do you go when do you go to work curry uh at 8 a.m at 8 a.m. And uh, when do you do your homework, uh, Tirso? Uh, where? Where I work? When? When? Ah, when? Yes. Uh, from, well, on Monday to Saturday. Okay, I'm talking on about... On Monday to date. Saturday. Monday I'm talking about Saturday. date? Yes. When do you do it? Oh, I do it uh, in the morning. I do it in the afternoon. I do it during the weekend. The, yes in the morning okay and uh when do you go to sleep jenny i am asleep at uh, 10 p.m 10 p.m and when do you um take a nap uh, graciela when do you take a nap what's the meaning of nap teacher nap is, is una siesta a nap um, when do you take a nap Sometimes at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. 1. 1 p.m. Yes. PM. I take a nap at 2 p.m. Yes. And uh, Chris, uh, Chris uh, Melara, when do you go to sleep? I go to sleep at 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Okay. And uh, Miguel Lara, when do you go to um, play soccer? If you play soccer. Um, on Saturday. On Saturdays, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Okay, so when we ask uh, when is to ask about time. Okay, so let's continue. 
Now, yes and no questions in the simple present. Remember, this is the difference. Don't get confused between WH question with verb to be. We use the helping verb do or does. When do we use do, uh, Graciela? When we are uh, asking for I'm, we, you, yes. they. When we use the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And uh, does, Sermenu, when do we, we use does? The auxiliary when verb does. When we use she, she, or. Very it. good. Yes. Uh -huh. And this is used to ask yes and no question. We put them before the subject. Okay. So the subject is uh, what we are talking about. Does your house, does your car, does your mom, yeah, do, do your mom, do. Uh, I play soccer. Okay, so this is the structure. We're going to use the uh, do subject plus base verb. Okay, or oh, it does subject plus base verb. So that is the structure that we're going to use. And remember, do not add S or ES to the verb. Why, Termenio? Why do you think? Because we are because we are using the auxiliary, auxiliary do, verb. Does. Yes, the auxiliary okay. verb. Thank you very much. Do you see that, Jenny? That we don't add S or ES to the verb on the third person because we are using do or does, which are the auxiliary verb. Uh, they use does for third person. Yeah, third person. But uh, the S, we're talking about this S and ES. We do not, we do not add e S, S to the verb when we are using do or does. Okay? And this is okay. the structure. Esta es la estructura. Vamos a poner el do or el does plus el subject plus the base verb. Okay? Are we okay in that? Okay. Okay, now this is the examples that we have. So we say that uh, is do, we use it with I, you, we, and they, plus the base verb. Um, okay, um, let's see. I'm sorry for the, uh, let's see, who has the uh, microphone on? Can you please turn off the microphone? Okay, thank you. Okay, so. I still, I'm listening to the person in the background. Can you please turn off the mic? Thank you. Okay, so do, we're going to use do with I, you, we, and they, plus the base verb. So do, you is the subject, and base verb is love me. Bless you, bless you. Bless you. Do you love me. Do you see the structure over here, Jenny? Do, subject, and base, the base verb. Do you see it? Lo miras, Jenny? Uh, en la primera, tito. Mira la estructura aquí. Sí, do, sí. Do you love me? Okay. Do you love me? Sí. Okay. Entonces, la second one dice, do they Practice tennis every day. Yes, Lee. Mira the structure aquí. Do they do? It's an auxiliary verb. They is the ver is the uh, subject, and practice is the verb. So this is the structure that we we are going over. Okay. Now on the third person, see over here. Does is used in he, she, and it plus the base verb. So we have does it cost a lot of money. Does it cost a lot of money? Okay, does is an auxiliary verb. It is a subject. Y el cost is a verb, a base uh. verb. So does it cost a lot of money? Y vamos a la tercera persona donde dice, does he study every day? Aquí está does is an auxiliary verb. He 
es el, el pronoun o el subject y el study es el verb. ¿Ya? Yeah? Estamos viendo, yeah. lo podemos ver. Yes, yes teacher. Ahí disculpen por ese, por ese, ese, ese ruido que estoy atrás, pero aquí no es, conmigo no es, porque yo solo estoy aquí en la casa. Así es que es alguien que tiene el, el micrófono ahí eh, prendido. Ok, entonces, um, seguimos aquí. Remember, we do not use do or does with the verb be. ¿Por qué? Uh, le expliqué al principio. Porque el verb to be es diferente. Esta es una... ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo estamos usando el? Simple present. Entonces no usamos el do o el does con el verb to be. El do y el does se usa solamente con el, Miguel, Clara. Do or does, you, we use the, the auxiliary. <laughs> Ok, Corey, usamos el do it solamente con el simple present. Yes. Ok, en el, con el verb to be no usamos. Yes, I am late. Usamos el verb to be, I am late, y no usamos el do. No puede decir do I am late, o does I am late. Es, es, uh, no es correcto, ok. So, let's go. Okay. WH non-subject question. ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir eso? We usually put the WH question. The, the helping verb. Okay? Before the helping ver, verb. Okay, so, tenemos el WH question. Before the helping verb. ¿Cuáles son los help, uh, uh, auxiliary verb? O helping verb, uh, uh, Jenny? Do, does. Do or does. Do or does. Yes. Uh -huh. el, el, la WH va antes del do or does. Yes. Uh, okay. Por ejemplo, why do you like scary movies? Why do you? Sí, estoy poniendo el do y la WH question antes del do. ¿Ok? Entonces, esa es la, la estructura que tenemos que ver. Aquí nos vamos a quedar um, hasta esto. Mañana vamos a terminar esta PowerPoint presentation, la, la explicación. Si ustedes pueden eh, eh, estudiarla, excelente. ¿Ok? Para que tengamos un mejor en, eh, eh, understanding on the structure of the uh, present simple WH question. ¿Ok? Any questions, Xiomara Guerra? Nice to see you, Xiomara. <laughs> Any question, um, Brenda, or Graciela, or Tirso, Crisela Melara, Laura, Miguel, Corey? Any questions? No, everything is clear. No, everything is okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so thank you Teacher. for thank you for being a present and uh, thank you for being a good student. Good evening. Good night, thank you. everyone. And I see you. Good night. 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 Good night.